Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing data. This is standard 4.9a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 which is a new item type called multiple select off the redesign practice online start test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got ages of volunteers cleaning up a beach. Stem and leaf plot is made to display the data. Look at this. Which data are missing from the stem and leaf plot? We need to select two answers. So this is multiple select. It's a two-point problem. So let's say I want to select those two and I try to select a 30. See, I'm trying to get that 20, but I can't. So it only allows you to select two. If for some reason you wanted to just select one and then try to move on, an error message will pop up and say, you have not answered everything, so I don't want to continue. So this is a two-point question, so let's dive into this. By opening up our graph draw feature, let's expand it out. We do have to scroll a little bit to see all of the answer selections. So let's make sure we see there are five answer selections to choose from, not just a, the traditional four. So what are we doing here? Well, we've got our stem and leaf plot. And so right here, we need to see that this, you know, the key is very important here. So the two slash one is gonna be the 21. So really, most stem and leaf plots that we'll see in fourth grade are gonna start like this to where uh, this is the tens place, and this is the ones place. So this two slash one means 21, right? That one at the bottom, the five slash three means 53. All right, so that's kind of easy to see. We're missing data, right? So if I count, to count how many we have, you need to count the number of leaves you've got. So I've got one, two, three, four, five on the one, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I've got 12 leaves, but take a look at how many pieces of data I should have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm missing two. So I think the easiest way to do this would be to just take a look at each of these and see where they land and see which two I have not crossed off. So I'm going to use my red here. I should have been using my red. Let me go over to blue. So 13, right? So 13 is going to be a one and then a three. So there's my one. I'm not going to cross off my stems, but I'm going to cross off my leaf. I'm just going to kind of scribble it out right there. Now, if I need to, I can kind of move it to see what's underneath it, but you can't really use an eraser on this tool. You have to hit reset up here and it just takes the whole thing gone. So I don't want the whole thing gone, but that, that will clear everything. So my 20 is going to be two and then a line and then zero. Ah, look at that. I don't see it anywhere on that two list. Okay. So I think I found one of my missing pieces of data. So let's check 15. It's one line five. Got that right there. Uh, 16 is one and then line on the six. So it's on the one stem. Now I've got two 16s. So I'm going to just cross off one of them. 18 is one line and then eight. Okay, 45, four, the line, and then five on the four stem right there. 41 is four, line one, got it, so on the four stem. So 32, all right, it's going to be right there. 21, got that right there. 47, okay, my fours are done. Cross that one out. My threes are done as well. 53, got it. All right, so 24. All right, my twos are done. 18, oh, I've already crossed that one out. So I'm missing that one because look, there's my 16, which is there. Okay, so I need 20 and 18, 20 and 18. So what I'm gonna do, I gotta go down here, take this off. We're gonna select 20. And 18, that is my answer. 